coming up next time on our virtual field trip with Try and See. On the next episode for the virtual field trip with Try and See will be, okay, okay. Now, it's time to tease you and make you hungry. This episode is about Curly's Comfort Foods, which is located in Levi Town, Pennsylvania. I hope I'm saying that correctly. But anyway, it's supposed to be, and according to Jeff Leck, who is the owner of the YouTube channel, JL Jupiter, and I quote unquote, a real deal eatery. He continues by stating that Curly's cheese steak became a popular item on the menu. So next week, let us watch and see Jeff's reaction. The YouTube info is as follows. The title, Best Cheese Steak Outside of Philly. Curly's Comfort Food is a heavyweight contender by YouTube channel JL Jupiter. On the next episode for the musical selection with Try and See will be K-Money performing in her YouTube video her song titled Something About You. Woo child. This baby girl can sing, y'all. Sing. Sing, baby girl. The YouTube info is as follows. The title, K-Money, Something About You. Official video by YouTube channel Hey money. The next episode for the choreography with Try and See will be Kelly Pickler and Derek Huff. Dancing with the Stars Season 16 champions performing their freestyle in the finals. At that time, this YouTube was to congratulate Kelly Pickler and Derek Huff. I danced in my day, and this performance between these two, now that's what I call. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. Okay, okay. I will show you a little bit, but come back next week, y'all, and view it with us together. Okay? Okay. The YouTube info is as follows. The title, Dancing with the Stars, the dance that won the hearts of millions by YouTube channel, Miss Lotus Flower. On the next, Keeping It 100 with Glow is about, this is a, definitely, this is definitely the last days. It was God, you know, our creator, who decided what sex you are born. This is between you and God. Now, whose mind would you be changing when it comes to the change of your sex? You weren't the one who decided what sex you would be when you were born. My God, our creator, don't make no damn mistakes. Look, look here. Let me give you an example. I was a baby girl when I was born. So I make like a Christmas tree and decorate what I am. And it took years of experience, growth, maturing, 
and maturity and certain issues to work out on to become and I still tried to maintain and I didn't punk out on what God made me. Now, I'm in the dark. I don't have to wear a dress as a facade to prove that I am a woman. I just am. You will see it to the point where I don't necessarily have to and or continue to repeat and say it to convince you or me. Look at here. So you telling me that you can put on a car cover seat a car seat cover and wrap a leather steering wheel cover over one arm and claim to be a effing car that's the same damn thing that is exactly how you are coming to me not us everybody else can speak for their damn self about it if I misspeak I'm telling you this is what I think and feel about it. Not us, just me. Because God said what it is. Who are you to change anything he made? For real. My problem is not what you're doing. Go ahead. I still have to love you. That is between you and my daddy. That's between y'all. That's y'all business. But my problem is... You trying to put that shit in my face, no matter where I turn my head, and the audacity for a male, I didn't say man, to stand by me or around me trying to be me when you are supposed to be the leader, the protector, and the provider. Really? You like a racist MF saying I'm lazy, smell, loud, angry, always want things given to me. Just because you said it doesn't make it so. Stop repeating your lies. We are not going to let your lies turn into facts no damn more either. Okay, let me stop, y'all. I'm getting pissed. I see you, double. Just convincing, trying to convince others to be the opposite sex which they were born. And you won't have to worry about the legal ramifications of an abortion. Okay, I said enough. This YouTube video is about wearing a dress does not make you a woman. 11-year-old girl was changing in the locker room with her teammates. And a student coach wearing a dress would just stare at them. The YouTube info is as follows. The title, Man Dro a Mom Drops Mic as school board wearing a dress doesn't make you a woman by youtube channel grassroots army this concludes the introduction of the next episode for season four we hope to see you then on our virtual field trip with try and see see you later